Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. We have finished, uh, we, we've beat the final boss, uh, we, we've seen an ending, but I don't think we're quite done here yet. So, where we do have to go at the moment, and we're not gonna drive there like suckers, of course, uh, is, uh, we're gonna go to the Great Deer Yard Hotel. And actually, before I do that, I feel like there may actually be some, some dialogue that we might be able to, uh, be privy to. So maybe, we, maybe I'll drive there. Um, I'll do that. And I'll, I'll just cut to it unless anything interesting happens, right? Just that's 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 what we that's what we seem to be able to do, right? So I'll start driving, and I will see you guys uh, if something something silly or funny or heartwarming takes place. I'll see you soon. Your can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on the side now. But don't worry, Your. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. That's really sad. Jeez. I'm sorry, Zach. One more thing. I hope things are going well with him. You've always been horrible with women. I gave you tons of advice during your last relationship. And you ignored all of it. I'm sure Emily will take the lead. Just don't fight her. Let her steer you in the right direction. No, no, no! Uh, Alright. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at that view. That is gorgeous! Though the health bar is in the way. Just like in real life. No, oh, no, I was looking at the view. I was looking at the view again! Zach's just humming to himself. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. What, what is this? It's been a while since I last ate. Oh god, York, I'm so sorry. Zach, that's... I'm, I'm glad it's the end because that's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> to start calling him Zach suddenly. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, let's eat one of these terrible looking jerky sandwiches, yes? Look at that meter. Look at that. Alright. It grew like it just told a lie. Alright, now I am disappointed that our beard is gone, suddenly. That's supremely disappointed, but... Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. That is supremely disappointing. Um, also, I'm not wearing a suit jacket at the moment, either. Interesting. What's this? What is this? No! Barry. Where's Barry? <laughs> ah. Thanks. Thanks, Deadly Premonition. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't really know what, what it is we're supposed to be doing here, folks. Maybe we just have to speak to Polly? Perhaps? We could probably have some coffee as well. Let's see if we can have some coffee. Polly's just at the desk, but let's just see what's... What's in here? One last coffee before we end, right? Maybe? This is where I would sit. At the novelty-sized table. Hmm. Ah, ah! Here we go. Coffee. Haha! -ha! Zach gets some coffee. Is this a coffee that's gonna tell us our fortune again? That was kind of fun. Sing and dance through this happy day. Lucky item, sunglasses. Perfect. Sunglasses. Coffee and milk go together like John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> the Blues Brothers of the Tabletop. Let's, 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 let's have some more coffee, sure. Cup number two. Really start this day off right. You may find what you are looking for. Lucky food, pork and beans. I'd rather shoulder the weight of the world than eat pork and beans. <laughs> I'd like to find a way out of eating that. So, Zach really, really hates pork and beans. That's fine. Cup number three. Maybe we'll stop at five. How does that sound? 
You need to cut back on your spending. Lucky color, gold. Gold. I once caught a criminal who had gold front teeth. His mouth lit up like a neon sign when he laughed. What did they call him? All oh, right, they called him the Medalist. <laughs> That's pretty cool. More coffee. Cup number four. He's going to be all jittery. Careful, Zack. What do you think, Zack? You'll hear from an old friend. Lucky item, cell phone. Ah. A cell phone. I lost my lucky item on the way into town then. This is a most ironic fortune. <laughs> okay, last cup. Last cup of coffee. Let's go, Zack. Yeah, he lost his cell phone in that car crash at the beginning. Of course, he was driving like an asshole, so it's to be expected. Sorry, Zack. Meet the love of your life today. Lucky number one. Oh, here we are. Far from civilization. Just who am I going to meet, then? Of course, the one I really want to meet is the criminal. But, but I don't want to fall in love with him. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Oh, go on. One more. Last one. Coffee number six. Then you'll be bouncing off the walls, Zack. What do you think, Zack? That's just fun to say. Take time out and relax today. Lucky color, black. Black reminds me of the lungs of a smoker. Wow. Lungs turn black by the smoke of cigarettes. All that cigarette ash leads to an early cremation. Ashes to ashes, indeed. Oh, you, you clever bastard. Also, you smoke, Zack. Keep that in mind. Okay, so, we're six cups of coffee in, and we feel fantastic. Let's go talk to Polly. Hi, Betty Machines! Hi, Polly! Hi, chairs! Hi, coffee tables! Talk. Oh, hi. You're getting ready to leave? So you're staying a bit longer. Polly, why do you sell ammo? Nah, never mind. I don't need to know that. Just looking for any... If you, just to see if you have any suits for sale. I'm always on the market for a new suit. Plus, I have a ridiculous amount of money, and I haven't been able to use anything yet. Okay. Pork. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, that's it. Fair play. Um, what should I be doing right now? I'm not really sure. This is where the mission brought me. Hmm. I suppose we're at about that point where it's time to leave, folks. Let's see. Nope. Oh, hello. And we are back in bed, even though we just woke up. Aha! York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. Why didn't you do that last night, Zack? You slept, had six cups of coffee, and then slept again. I don't understand how your body works. It's fascinating. Zack, it's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I do. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to leave town now, folks. I think there are some missions that you can do, but I'm I'm not really positive, but no, I think I think it's time. I think it's time we left. Everything's been dealt with. It's time to leave Greenvale, folks. Then this is goodbye, Zack. Oh. Thank you for everything. Good night, Zack. And sleep tight. Ugh. Forest Kaysen. Son Holly, of a what's that picture? Bitch. What? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. Ooh. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. Of course they were, Polly. Ugh. Sorry, that disgusted Sorry, sound was for forced. Just sign here, please. 
Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend, someone who was with me for a long, long time. You oh. must have been a really good friend then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away to a place where we can't meet again. No. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. Oh, you guys. With Zach? Oh, that's so sad. Z Willie's, l Willie's sad that Zach is leaving. That's so sad. Oh, puppy. Look at that, folks. What a lovely town, right? What a lovely stay we've had in this town. Did Emily die? No. She became the goddess of the forest. Even now, she is still in the forest with York. She watches over the world from there. Emily became a goddess. That's right. Isn't that a lovely ending? Hey, Grandpa. Can I ask you something? What kind of person is York? York is a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes, just like Mr. Teddy. A very important friend. Wow. That was an ominous end to that scene, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, folks, well, that was Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. Uh, please, by all means, let me know. Bless Emily! What? It's Yes, Mom. Hmm. So I'd like to know who uh, who Zach uh, ends up with. You know. How's your grandfather doing? I don't know. He's calling me Emily again. Oh dear. He must be losing his memory. Oh. You are Louise, honey. Michelle Louise Morgan, not Emily. You know that, right? I know my own name, Mom. I know you do, baby. You're just so lovely, Louise. I'm sure that's why your grandfather mixes you up with a goddess. Hmm. As I was saying, I would like to know who... Who's... Mom, Ugh. where is the goddess? I don't know, dear. I'm not much like your grandfather. Is there even such a thing as a goddess? I believe so. But I've never met one. Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a goddess. Oh, thank you, honey. Sweet. If I am kid. a goddess, then you are an angel. <laughs> wow, this music got really demonic really fast. <laughs> hmm. Am I gonna say anything else? Maybe not. This music's tremendous, though. Listen to that. Listen to that. That's fantastic. Anyways, folks. Uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of uh, of this game. I know it was long. I really appreciate you sticking with me to the end. I really do appreciate that. I know. I know it was quite an undertaking. Quite a. Quite a. 
quite a, a complex story uh, eventually as well with everything that's uh, that happened between York and Zack and we still don't have a lot of answers on what exactly Forrest Kaysen is or was I guess he's dead now but it seems like he was some kind of like I don't know like alien plant creature maybe something like that I, I really don't know I'm really not sure but uh, but yes please folks let me know what you thought of this game because I am a big fan of it um, this is my I think this is the second time I've played it all the way through but it is just it is just so good folks I love it it's it's so good it's real it, it's it's definitely got a cult following that's for darn sure <laughs> not many people have heard of it that I've spoken to uh, I'm sure many of you have before okay I do want to see oh look at that Every every character, no letters of the alphabet were repeated by the look of it. That's really neat. That's really neat. Oh, also, Harry Stewart actually being George's father? That's a thing. Jeff Kramer. I wonder what else Jeff Kramer has done. Hmm. Oh, and then I guess there are other characters that get repeated. My mistake. But hey-ho. Mob child, mob female, citizen of 50 years ago, shadow, raincoat killer, Casey Robertson, motion capture. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of forgot about that that extra little detail of um, of Harry Stewart being George's father. I mean, they they didn't really allude to that at all at any point, did they? I don't. I don't think there was any, unless, I mean, there definitely might have been some hints of it. I, I can't really be, I can't really be positive on that, of course, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But still, very interesting game, folks. Okay, music section is usually a sign that it's getting close to the end. Mom, do you believe those stories that Grandpa tells? You believe them, Louise? They're all just made-up stories, dear. All fiction. Like your picture books. So all my picture book stories aren't true? Oh, don't twist things around, Louise. You just want to know everything, don't you? She just asked a simple question, Mom. Did this happen? Answer her. Here, take this dinner to your grandfather. Go on while it's still hot. Mom, I understand what Grandpa's talking about. I've got Mr. Teddy, just like Grandpa's York. <laughs> Very nice, dear. Now off you go. Hold it straight or you'll spill the soup. I've got it. Mom does not care at all about what uh, what this kid thinks. <laughs> she believes you, uh, Zach, though, so that's nice. That's nice. Any more dialogue? I don't want to talk over any of it. No? It's nice music still, right? It's pleasant. It's actually very sad. I don't even know what it's saying, really, for the most part. I mean, I can understand it, but it just has a really, sa a really sad sound to it. <laughs> Rising Star Games. So yes, folks, if you were able to stick with me until the very end, I would very much like to know your thoughts on the game. Uh, if you're aware of anything I might have missed, uh, or any like missions I might have missed, or the missions I could have done during the epilogue, if there's anything interesting there that I could have done, uh, please let me know because I, I'm interested. But uh, I just felt like it was time to I just felt like it was time to get to the end, you know. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making this game. Ending cutscene? Ending cutscene? Ending cutscene? Maybe. It'd be nice. Oh. Look at these two. Huh? 
Hey, gang. Thomas. All right. Oh, that's so nice. That's their lives now, I suppose. They they reside in a diner. Oh. Zach? So, okay, so it's showing that when Zack uh, passes away, uh, he gets to join York, which is great. Zack, it's great to see you again. How many years has it been? I've been close to you the whole time. You probably couldn't see me, but you felt my presence nearby, right, Zack? I never thought you'd get married and have a family. Quite a surprise. I spent years honing my profiling skills, but I never saw that one coming. <laughs> that's what makes humans so interesting. And that's why I just can't leave you guys alone. More than anything else. Seeing you look so happy is the best thing I could ever ask for. Anyway, Zack, did you see the newspaper today? As it turns out, over the last three months... There's been a string of bizarre incidents near New Orleans. Residents there are reporting a sudden strike of nausea, and then they completely lose control of their bodies. Some have already had two months of only being able to walk backwards. Does that make you feel anything? It makes me feel something. I know you feel it too, Zack. Um. Um. Okay. Oh. Was there a time? Okay, Zach. I thought that's what you'd say. Well then. It's time to wake up, Zach. Okay. I suppose I chose the one that was highlighted, which just said, uh. Ooh. Which said, of course I feel it, uh. York. But what, what was he saying? A sudden nausea that makes people walk backwards? Is that like what caused some of these creatures that we've been seeing in our... Uh, the ones we've been fighting, I guess? I don't know. That's that's quite confusing. Uh, again, if anybody has any insight on that, because this is the first time I've seen those actual scenes, uh, the ones with old old Zack, because um, those, are, those are in the director's cut, and this is the first time I'm playing that. So if you have any insight uh, into that, folks, please... Please let me know. Uh, anything else? Are we missing anything else? Now, loading. No, that's it, folks, and look- Mom! Grandpa's gone! Where did he go? Hmm. Okay, so maybe Zack did not pass away, I guess. That's really confusing. But it also, I guess, leaves potential for a sequel, right? Maybe he just left to go on another adventure. Where we'll play as Old Man Zack, maybe, in, in Deadly Premonition 2, if that's ever going to be a thing. I feel like Sweary has mentioned a Deadly Premonition 2, and maybe that he's also that he's maybe possibly working on it, but I'm not... I'm really not sure. Anyway, folks, I think that is going to just about do it for me. Thank you very much for joining me for a uh, another Let's Play. Uh, again, please let me know your thoughts on this game. Any insight you might have, anything I might have missed, any theories you might have, please just let me know in the comments down below. 
And uh, other than that, I have been Locke Lackey, this has been Deadly Premonition, and I shall see you next time. Take care.